What is up everybody? It's Wick here and I've got 10 things I've sold on eBay recently. I'm gonna go over this stuff. I picked it out. I think it's somewhat interesting to talk about. Uh, this wireless pet containment system is the first thing I got here. Uh, I paid $70 for two of these at a Home Depot, $70 each. And I ended up selling them for $234.29 after shipping and fees and everything, it was $124.99 a piece profit. One was like $122 because the shipping was a bit higher. But uh, $247.03 between the two of them profit. And um, it's a little bit of retail arbitrage. It doesn't hurt to spend, you know, $70 a piece. It's kind of risky. Um, but if you know you're getting a return, it's really not that risky. It's just a lot of people, for some reason in their minds, they... They don't want to spend $70 on one item, even though they're going to pretty much double their money. And um, well, more than double your money in this case. So any anytime I could spend $70 and make $70, I consider that a good investment. As long as the item is, you know, you're confident. And these things are really popular, the PetSafe wireless systems. So I was pretty confident that I was going to sell it well. And it did. So I would love to pick them up again. The funny thing is, the guy was complaining, he's like, yeah, we're clearancing all these out because people steal them. And I thought, well, uh, <laughs> okay, more money in my pocket, I guess. So next here, not too long ago, I found a used phone set at uh, Goodwill. It was, I believe, $5, or maybe it was, let me see here, let me look at my cheat sheet. Yeah, it was about five dollars because I got I spent two sixty nine on each of these. I had two of these handsets in there. The base wasn't in there. You know, it seems like every time I see a, a phone at Goodwill, I open it up and it's missing something or it's not the same phone. In this case, it was missing the base. But I noticed the phone, the dock, the clip, the batteries for each handset was still new. So I did a quick search on eBay and seen that I could sell these for about thirty dollars, and I did sold them for twenty nine ninety nine. $18.75 profit each on them, and in the end, $37.50 between the two for $5 purchase. So definitely, um, when you're reselling, if you think outside of the box, you're going to make a lot more money. Uh, a lot of people would just look at that base and be like, ah, base is not here, I'm done. But, you know, you really got to keep your mind turning so you can always figure out ways to make money off stuff. And these were really easy to list. You know, see, I just laid it out. And had two of them, so um, no more than 10 minutes to make $37.50. This was a great sale. I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. I think it was the first community sale of the year. The guy was selling it with his printer. I just asked if he would sell me the ink. And he said, sure. I said, how much? He said, how about a dollar? I said, take my dollar, please. Uh, I ended up selling this one for $54.95. And profit in the end was $37.58. So, another thing, always look out for ink. I think most people that's re been reselling for any amount of time knows that. Especially the, the laser jet stuff, the cartridges. But, um, yeah, like garage sales and stuff, don't be afraid to ask people. Like, if they'll sell something separate. I had no interest in the printer. I don't even think the printer they had went with this ink cartridge. It was just kind of there. But yeah, he sold it to me for a dollar, and that's great profit. So these boots were a really good find and a really good sale. I got these at Salvation Army on half off day. I uh, couldn't believe, like, basically to make it to half off day, you gotta be sitting there at least for a few days. And um, these ended up being $4.28. Uh, and I sold them for $77.29 shipped. So after fees and shipping and everything, it was $45.13. Uh, there was a lot of interest in these. Uh, some people were asking me, just sending me messages if I would go lower. Uh, I had about 12, 13 watchers. I knew that they would sell, so uh, I didn't have best offer on or anything. So I just um, waited it out for about a week, week and a half, and they sold for some great profit. The Redback uh, boots, they're Australian made. They're really nice. They actually fit me and I was tempted to keep them, but I'm like, I don't know if I, I need these. The funny thing is they're, they, they're size nine and a half and I wear 10 and a half, but they fit me really well. I was 
a little bit worried that um, they'd get a return because the size seemed like maybe it didn't match or it was kind of an off size. But yeah, keep an eye out for that brand. So I picked this up at Salvation Army as well not long ago. Uh, $4.99 is what I paid. It is a, the singing machine microphone. I had no idea what the price this at. I kind of messed up. Um, it was, I ended up pricing it at $49.99. It sold pretty quick. Uh, I should have had buyer pay shipping at least because shipping was pretty expensive, but ended up making $27.41 in the end. I couldn't find any comps on this anywhere, not on Amazon or eBay. I probably should have priced it maybe $100 and uh, have best offer on or just had 100 bucks and let it sit for a month or two to see if I get a sell because things, when no one else is selling them or they haven't sold, they're, they must be pretty rare, right? Um but you live you learn i probably could have made some more money on this but yeah i didn't pay enough attention so i got this is salvation army as well salvation army been paying out lately uh this is a friend's dvd set i paid 6.42 after tax for this sold it for 34 dollars 18 cents made 17 dollars 84 cents so um yeah i kind of regretted buying this after i got it home i'm like man you know, this is gonna it's gonna be a pain to list because I didn't test all the DVDs. I just looked out the back, and they were pretty much mint condition. So I I just assumed they work. If they would have had scratches on them or anything, I would have just probably wasted my money because I wouldn't have took the time to list them. And I wouldn't have felt confident uh, selling it without testing it. But it did have a little flaw here uh, where Salvation Army put the tape on, so I just closed that. And I thought. There's so many other people selling this, and I priced mine a little bit higher because I wanted to make a little bit more money. And I'm like, eh, this will probably sit. But it sold really quick. And uh, for yeah, $34.18, $17.84 profit. So, um, yeah, I would probably buy this again as long as the, the discs are in good shape and everything. He was a great find and a little bit of a blunder on my part, I think. But... Uh, I paid four dollars for this at a garage sale. It is a massager, and it is a homedics massager. And there's so many different types of homedics massagers. Some of them are garbage. Some of them are good. This one is a good one. Um, you can sell this one for quite a bit of money. I sold mine for sixty nine ninety nine. I paid four dollars for it. I'm not sure if I said, but I had to pay t over twenty dollars to have it shipped of course it went to california here's the thing to compete with the other sellers that were selling it for 69.99 free shipping um i basically just priced mine free shipping and was hoping it wouldn't go to california uh it did of course it, it seems like it always works out that way so you know in the end i made 36 dollars 24 for a four dollar investment so i can't really complain it's just that maybe i should have priced it at uh $59.99, buy or pay shipping. And then the person from California would be like, oh, I'm not paying $20 for to have that shipped to me. I'll buy the other one. That'll save me shipping. And then just wait until someone more local was willing to buy it. So uh, that's probably the route I should have took. I, I, honestly, I probably would only made like $10 more on it. So, you know, there's no, I got the sale. I made great money. So really, you can't complain. But, you know, there's just something to think about if you're trying to maximize your profits. But if you try to maximize every sale, you'll probably go insane. So it's probably just better to get it moved. Uh, I paid $5 for this sealed Active Scroll internet mouse, IBM. Uh, I didn't think it would sell this quick. I figured it was something that would sit. I almost left. I picked it up and put it down like three different times. Uh, it was $5.35 after tax. Sold it for $29.99. Made $15.83. The scary thing about this, though, the guy who bought it left me a message and says, use uh, Big Bubble Bubble Wrap, and I will leave positive feedback. Uh, if it arrives damaged, I'll leave negative feedback. <clears throat> so he was, like, really specific in his buyer notes. I'm like, oh, no, uh, this guy, is he's going to give me trouble. But um, it's been about a week now since it's delivered, so I think I'm good. But anytime you see, you know, someone that picky, uh, especially for old new stock, uh, you definitely worry. But every I don't know if he left feedback or not. I should probably check. But yeah, um, 
fifteen dollars is fifteen dollars five to five dollars into fifteen um, I would definitely buy again so here's uh, why you should be selling on eBay and Amazon because you can just maximize your money I picked up 14 of these orbit uh, dual program sprinkler timers at Lowe's for 80 cents a piece and there were five of them that had boxes like this that I just couldn't sell new on Amazon comfortably so I put them on eBay uh, priced them at let's see $22.45 free shipping ended up having to ship them uh, in a poly uh, mailer so it was like $6.90 to ship each one but in the end I paid so little for them it was $11.55 profit so between the five fifty-seven dollars and seventy-five cents was the total profit between those five and then the nine i sold on amazon i was able to sell for a lot more i believe thirty seven dollars and fifty cents is what i priced those at and uh in the end made two hundred and thirty eight dollars and fifty cents on those so a total score of two hundred ninety six dollars and twenty five cents between these sprinklers um, sometimes you just find the greatest clearance like these things were normally like thirty dollars well I think 40 30 or forty dollars and marked down to 80 cents I think maybe because of the boxes and then they just had extra ones that weren't that bad I don't know why um, I just happy I picked them up I guess maybe no one bought them because all the bad boxes were in front and I was just at first I'm like oh these are rough but 80 cents you're you're, you're gonna buy all of them no matter what the condition they're still new inside i sold them new, as new uh like new uh with box damage so really happy that i decided to buy both and sell you know between amazon and ebay and maximize my profits and then finally not long ago i bought two different lots of homeschool books um this one i sold uh i sold it for 66 dollars and 22 cents i did pay 20 dollars for this lot but this isn't all the books uh, there were two identical copies of one and i decided to pull them and sell them on amazon and i should make 10 dollars a piece on them so i'll probably get about another 20 dollars but still spending 20 dollars at a garage sale turning it into uh, $30.64 was my profit after all fees so definitely more than doubled my money and they sold pretty quick and then I, I should get 20 more so definitely happy with that and the other lot um, hopefully I can sell for over a hundred we'll see but um, I'm always looking out for books uh, that's been the theme this year I've been selling books different types of books for large amounts of money on eBay so definitely look out for homeschool books or old lots of certain types of books but yeah that's going to do it for this video i want to thank everybody for watching make sure you hit that like button for me i hope you learned something i hope you see something out there on this video that you can look for out there uh honestly i try to watch as many haul videos from different resellers on youtube because that's some of the greatest knowledge um, I probably would have passed up on these homeschool I don't remember who I was watching but they bought some homeschool books and sold them like yeah I, could, I should keep an eye out for that but the more you see other people buy stuff the more it starts clicking in your brain and you'll see it at garage sales and pick it up make some money but again I want to thank you for watching this has been Wick till next time